Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Corey, and I welcome you to our, our thyroid recovery website. Today we're going to talk about the new solutions to your thyroid problems. Now, did you know that virtually millions and millions of people are currently suffering from thyroid conditions, and they've been diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, Graves' disease, hypothyroidism, and hyperthyroidism. Each of these conditions carries its own risks and involvement in the nervous system and throughout your body and affecting how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. There's also virtually six patterns of thyroid dysfunction that we need to evaluate for you to find out exactly what the cause of the core problem is that you're experiencing and why your thyroid is being involved. Now, your medical doctor has probably run some labs with you. He's probably told you, well, your lab tests are normal and you go about your way. Maybe occasionally they've raised or lowered your your uh, armor, or your Synthroid, or whatever medication they might have you on, which regulates that TSH level. They may have even increased or decreased the T3 level. Those are the thyroid hormones. Now, what I'd like you to understand is it's much more involved in that because virtually every single cell of your entire body has to regulate through the proper function of your thyroid. Let's take a look at this next slide. Did you know that every cell of your body, as I mentioned, functions through the met metabolic pathways to your thyroid and back to the organ or gland that it goes to. So your thyroid will regulate your bone metabolism, your immune system function, your brain and nervous system, your endocrine system, which is your reproductive organs, in addition to the adrenal glands, which are your stress hormones that are regulated from, called cortisol. We're gonna look at gastrointestinal function, your liver and gallbladder function, sex and growth hormone, your fat burning capabilities. This is one reason why people continue to exercise over and over. They say, I'm eating the right foods, but they just simply can't lose weight. Your insulin and glucose metabolism. Are you insulin resistant? Are you currently diabetic? Well, these are part of the puzzle that we need to uncover and find out why we're having problems. Your healthy cholesterol levels and your proper stomach acids are all involved with your thyroid metabolism. So what we do in our office is we treat our patients neurologically and metabolically. Metabolically is your whole fuel delivery system in your body, and neurologically, your thyroid is regulated from your brain. So when we look at how our brain functions, that hypothalamus will regulate and send signals down to the pituitary gland, which will then send signals down to your thyroid, and then we'll have excretion of two different hormones, T3 and T4. I'll get into further detail in future videos, but just to recap, what we want to look at is we want to get you back to normal function. Now, your doctor may have run those lab tests and he said that, oh, everything looks good. Well, what I want you to understand is that he's using very inaccurate levels uh, as far as reference ranges to evaluate you from. Those reference ranges from your current laboratory are very wide. Those are wide lab ranges. What I mean by that is that your doctor will go through and he'll look at you, your lab value from this point here to this point here. Those are your lab ranges that you get back from the lab. When we look at functional care or, or uh, functional uh, neurology and functional endocrinology, what we want to do is we want to use functional ranges. That's where optimal function comes from, optimal health of the human being comes from, is bringing those in and looking at where healthy people should be, not looking at simply a sick population. Now, the majority of those labs, all of those labs for that matter, are going to have sick people in them. They're going to have people with diabetes. They're going to have people with hepatitis. You're going to have people with multiple sclerosis. You're going to have people with colds and flus and sickness and disease and cancer and all kinds of other things. So when you're evaluating yourself, do you want to be compared to that population of people or do you want to be compared to where a healthy person should be? Let's look at the next slide and I'll give you a specific example. Now this is virtually for every single uh, application on your blood test, but let's cut to the chase. I'm going to go to TSH, which is your thyroid stimulating hormone. And this is what your doctor is evaluating you with as he evaluates your thyroid function. He may look at T4 as well, which is Mayo Clinic's uh, regimen, TSH, T4. Very, uh, uh, very little uh, patients come in with anything more than those two parameters measured. We actually have 10 parameters, 10 different aspects of the blood test that we're going to evaluate to find out how your thyroid is functioning. But let's get back to the blood test. Your doctor's reference range is going to be 0.3 to 5.7. Now, that can be 0.4 to 4.5, depending on where you live. So they're even changing it from lab to lab or region or country to region to country. And that's just because it's that lab's reference range for everybody that's been in that lab in the past year. Wow. 
hopefully that's new news to you because it's going to give you a new paradigm to start measuring your health from. Now, their lab value is 0.3 to 5.7, so it's a big, wide range. What we want to do is we want to look at the functional value, which is actually 1.8 to 3. With that functional value, we're going to take that 0.3 into 1.8. We're going to bring that 5.7 down to 3. So we're looking at the healthiest people. And as we do so, we're going to be able to get you healthy because we need to find out, first of all, what's causing the thyroid dysfunction, but we're going to put you into a paradigm of a healthy person so we can find out where do we need to get you to. You always have to know where you're going before you can set out a path to get there. And that's exactly what we do. So we're not going to leave any stone in turn to make sure that we can help get you well. Now, the next piece of the health puzzle that I wanted to show you is that your cerebellum, which is in the back half of the brain, regulates your, your ability for accuracy, your balance, your coordination of all your muscles, joints, and tissues. When we do a neurological exam with you, we're going to measure that area of your brain because your brain is involved. When your metabolism of every cell in your body is involved, believe me, your nervous system is involved. We're going to also look at your cortisol levels, and we're going to look at those adrenal glands and see exactly how those are functioning. We're going to look at oxygen uh, deficits or possibilities of oxygen de uh, deprivation. Because if your cells are not carrying oxygen to those tissues, we're going to have a problem with how that thyroid is functioning. We're going to look at blood sugar levels. We're going to look at your hormones. We're going to look at also gut function. 80% of your immune system is in your gut function. And as a consequence of that, what we want you to understand is that if we leave any part of that puzzle uh, unchecked, then that problem with your thyroid can continue. But we're going to bring those pieces back together. And as we bring those pieces back together, we're going to be able to help get you well. We're going to put the puzzle pieces together, leave no stone unturned, so that we can make sure we get you back to living the life that you used to live before the problems with your thyroid came about. Now, what I'd like you to do is I want you to fill the information out. It's right below me in that box below. It's, it will ask for your name. It will ask for your email address. And it will also ask for your telephone number. Now, we're going to keep your information very, very private. This is just between you and I. We do not share information with anybody. So what I'd like you to do is I want you to fill that out. Now, in future videos, I'm going to go through uh, more detail. But by filling that box out, we're going to give you access to a 45-minute uh, video recording, which is going to go into great depth, which is going to explain our procedures and exactly how we uncover the missing pieces in your situation to help you recover from your thyroid dysfunction. So fill out the box. I've got many other videos to come to you, and we're going to go through and we're going to uncover and help you to resolve your thyroid function. Hope you have a wonderful day. My name is Dr. Michael Corey, and thank you very, very much for inviting me into your home or your office today. And we look forward to helping you resolve your problems.